when men have a particular area of disease in the bone or prostate cancer in the bone that is causing excessive pain or may be unstable, we often will refer those men to uh, receive treatment with external beam radiation. This is radiation that's targeted specifically to that one location and really addresses the, the prostate cancer in that area. It does not address prostate cancer in any other location. It only really hits that area. And the goal is to reduce the disease burden, kill as many cells of prostate cancer in that place to reduce pain. Um, and it's not going to make anyone live longer to get external beam radiation but it can significantly improve quality of life and reduce pain. And, um, and for our patients with prostate cancer, this is a hugely important and wonderfully effective treatment. The important things that I always think about with external beam radiation are that initially when you start treatment, men can experience a flare in pain. So when you start killing those prostate cancer cells for whatever reason, possibly related to inflammation and swelling in the area where the cells are, are dying, men have actually a worsening of pain in certain circumstances and need to take oral medications to try to, or medicines by mouth, to try to reduce that pain. Um, but that usually goes away within a couple of days and so is something that's certainly worth the longer term effects. The other important piece that I think about with external beam radiation is that the, the effectiveness does not peak for about two to three weeks after or until about two to three weeks after you complete treatment. And so even if one is not feeling significant relief during treatments with radiation or even once that radiation treatment has finished, um, it is still very possible and very likely that that individual feels significant pain relief within the next few weeks after treatment.